Hi guys, it's me Asher, and lately I've decided I want to become a pro at gambling. Now I heard somewhere that practice makes perfect, so I've been playing poker every day for the past two weeks to hone my skills, and I think it's pretty safe to say I've cracked the code. Alright boys, read them and weep. Those are Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Well, I lost a lot more than my pride back there. Guess it's time to decide between my rent and Netflix this month. What? I gotta prioritize what's important. Oh no, I forgot to pay my phone bill and I'm out of service. Well, how am I supposed to fulfill my entertainment needs now? Hmm, but I still have my gas money. I'll take your entire stock. Just when all hope seemed lost, our hero Dollar Tree steps in to save the day. First up, I have Gaturu the Movie. Now, its creator may have had several allegations of plagiarism, but this film is definitely unique. A little too unique, maybe. Gaturu was adapted from a popular Argentinian comic strip of the same name. The movie did pretty alright in Argentina, but bombed everywhere else, and it was released in the US only on DVD. Well, that's about all I can find on the Wikipedia page, so I guess it's time to just dive right- <coughs> This isn't the worst looking animation I've ever seen. Stay tuned for the next episode. But this art direction looks simply awful at times. Katuro is a classic example of something that works in 2D but just doesn't in 3D. I'm looking at you, Arthur's missing pal. Now, I could go on and on about how bad this movie looks. Why are their mouths two giant balls? But I'm sure you can see that for yourself, so let's just cut to the story. The film opens up with the titular Katuro, who I guess is supposed to be a cat, spying on this other cat named Agatha. There's also a flashback montage sequence showing how he's been in love with her his whole life. I mean, <laughs> I can see why. But Gaturu and I are not the only ones with feelings for Agatha. We're also quickly introduced to Max, Gaturu's rival, who has just proposed to her. But she doesn't like him because he's a massive See? No plagiarism here. The problem is that Agatha is easily the most annoying and unlikable character in the entire movie. Because she's incredibly narcissistic and treats Gaturu like dirt. With all of your excuses, it seems that you just don't care. At the end of the day, Max is the only one who is always there for me. What do you mean? He's been literally following you around since your childhood. Did you forget to watch the opening of the movie? We also meet Gaturu's friends, because he's got to have people to talk to about his love problems at the beginning and then never again. The toast always falls with the buttered side down, and cats always land on their feet. What happens if I attach a piece of toast to the back of a cat? Also, this dude has an extremely long neck for reasons, I think. This is also a good time to point out that this movie was translated from Spanish to English really poorly, which results in some hilarious lines such as, I see some droopyism in your face. Anyway, when Gatrua finds out that Max has proposed to Agatha, he creepily stalks her down to ask her why she doesn't like him instead. There is always a problem with you. Oh! That? was the most terrifying thing I have seen in my life. Also, nice rule of 180 degrees. Definitely not giving us a headache. Anyway, Agatha tells Gatru that she might like him if he changed a little bit and was more manly, talented, and courageous. This causes Gatru to pull up Ant-Man and literally swell to the size of a building. No one acknowledges that this happened because of course they don't. Gatru decides that to get Agatha to like him, he will need to become an actor because actors are more powerful than superheroes. Conveniently, he sees an ad on TV for acting auditions for a cat, so he tries to convince his owners to take him there. There are a lot of wacky shenanigans because while animals can talk in this universe, they can't talk to humans. See? No plagiarism here! There's also this weird bit where there's this one piece of toast for breakfast and all the family members in Gaturu's house fight over it? Yep, very normal breakfast routine. Just don't ask questions. And I have to say, this character model for the teenage daughter makes me feel very... uncomfortable. I mean, don't get me wrong, they all do, but this one especially is what nightmares are made of. So next, the family takes Gaturu to get a haircut before his audition, and he doesn't want to cause cats don't like water, get it? This part drags on and on and adds practically nothing to the plot. Eventually, they make it to the audition studio where we are treated to the greatest scene in motion picture history. Scholars consider this moment to be a turning point where the medium of animation ceased to be just entertainment and instead pushed the boundaries of art itself. I'm going to play the clip for you in all its glory. Hmm? 
That was beautiful. The only thing that can make this masterpiece of a movie even better was if there was dancing rats. They did it! They listened to the fans! The name is Pit. Rat. Pit. <laughs> I don't think we as a society will ever be able to top this. It's just too good. Let me put it another way. This movie is a musical now? I take it all back. It just keeps getting better and better. So anyway, this rat is supposed to be Gatura's acting mentor, but besides this one scene and being on the front of the cover art, he's not really all that important to the plot. Like a lot of characters, he just kind of exists. After this incredible banger of a song, we find out that Max has been listening in the whole time. So now Gatura was friends with the rat. Well, no big surprise. I can't let that rodent loving flea bag win that audition. Hey, uh, buddy, your mouth didn't move there. You feeling all right, man? That's a little weird, even for this movie. And now his mouth moves again, good. I was getting a little worried for a second. After Max fixes his stiff lips problem, he hatches a plan to sabotage Gaturu's audition. Which I find pretty funny, because he didn't need to do that in the first place. Gaturu has a horrible stage fright, and just generally sucks at acting. When Max ruins the audition with a bunch of fleas, Gaturu is rejected. But after he leaves, surprise, surprise, the producers change their minds for absolutely no reason, and decide that he's perfect for the part after all. That's right, our lovable pet is now a superhero action star. See? No plagiarism here. Wait, that's not Gaturu, that's the movie Bull. Hey, punk. You're trespassing on the bad blood turf. Please, I'm scared of water. Too late. Time to liquidate. <laughs> not if I can help it! Yeah, I'm not even touching that. And what do you know, the TV show is a huge success, and so of course they plaster giant images of his face all over town. Normal stuff here. Gaturu, when you were this random obscure movie no one had ever heard of, I said some horrible things. Things I should never have said. But now, all the viewers of this video, they know you, they love you. You're a star. And now, Gaturu, I think you're great. This is a fantastic movie, guys. Sorry, what? You think that's a little far-fetched? You think it's crazy to think that I'd suddenly fall in love with Gaturu as soon as he becomes famous? Welcome to the real world, because this happens all the time. If you haven't figured it out already, this is exactly what happens in the movie with Agatha. Here's the weird thing. I expected there to be some kind of moral message in the film where someone outright condemns this, but nope. Gaturu's whole plan to get Agatha to like him is to be a famous TV actor, and it actually works. How can I react to something this realistic? You know what? I'm done. I can't take any more of this garbage movie. And I'm sick and tired of living like this. I need to do something to get myself back on my feet. Hmm, what if I use my leftover change to fund and create an animated movie? The funds could not only lift me out of poverty, but leave me with millions to spare. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Perform and sing and dance. Three, Three ways to shine and conquer, conquer that show business. Dream, Dream to be more than a rodent. Make, make the whole world pay attention. attention. Sora can have redemption. Not just hide and sneak and crawl. 